Welcome back. By this stage, you should have arranged your components to look something like what we have on the screen here. What we've got to do now is add some instructions, some program code, to make our app work. It's really important to understand that so far all we've done is set up the components. If we tried out our app, it wouldn't do anything because it doesn't have any instructions. So we're going to open up our blocks editor, which is where we work with our program instructions, and here we are. At this stage, you may want to set your web browser to go full screen. On the left hand side, we have a number of blocks that we can work with. We have built-in blocks, which is all of App Inventor's language. We also have a heading Screen 1, which lists all the components in my app. And any component, which we're not going to worry about just now. So returning to Screen 1, we have three components that we created earlier. Just remind ourselves, under Screen 1, Button Pet, Label Instruction and Sound Pet. And you can see that these three components belong inside Screen 1. And I want to make it so that when I click on Button Pet, something happens. So I choose Button Pet from my list of components and I drag out a when button pet dot click do code block. So when button pet is clicked, what do we want to do? Well, we want to play a sound. So I'm going to select sound pet and I'm going to call the sound pet dot play command and I'm going to snap that into the when button pet dot click command there. And that's all the program instruction we need for our app. I'm now going to test my app. So going up to the Connect menu, I can do that in one of three ways. I can do live testing using the AI Companion app on a handset that's connected wirelessly to App Inventor. I can do the same thing, but on a handset that's connected through a USB cable. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use App Inventor's built-in emulator. This is a complete emulation of an Android handset running on your computer. A message comes up saying it might take a moment to start the Android emulator, so I'm just going to be patient. And there we are, my mobile app running in an emulated Android smartphone on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click the cat. Congratulations! You've just built your first mobile app.